Friday for the Aloba Families Lead Council, Fumi Falano, to present her witnesses to testify. But she informed the judge that the two main witnesses, Mobad's wife and father, were yet to file their statements at the court registry as well as share. First of all, to those people that are saying that they've interrogated the wife, show people can see. Now the police are saying they are still waiting for her. Not even police, Files mother. Files mother. They talk to you now, say they see they wait for the wife and mobile father to come give their statements. Meaning they've not interrogated them, they've not given their own statement to help this case. They have been quiet since. Now they, they are telling the police that they are still in shock. Meanwhile, Files father, they grant, um, meanwhile, mobile father, they grant interview up and down. Meanwhile, mobile wife, Follow go um, protest that time. She said they do one or two things. They report account number online. The sister they thought she go sue or she no go sue. So you people can see down that they lie to you. The blocks are helping this. I don't know what they are covering, but the truth is slowly coming out. You understand? The truth is slowly coming out. Now the nurse, listen to this part. Investigation on the course of Mubad's death said there is no link between the nurse that administered an injection on Mubad, Feisha Yogidengbi and two other suspects, Naira Mali and Sam Larry. The case was originally moved. So you hear that the nurse and Sam Larry, the nurse, Naira Mali and Sam Larry, they don't even know their self. They don't have any relation. Now, there are a lot of questions, and I will ask those questions. The nurse mother said that Mobad wife, Mobad brother, and Mobad friends, they called her when she was in Kotonou. They sent her a picture of Mobad hand when Mobad was swollen. She told them she's still in Kotonou. They said they were going to wait for her to come back to Nigeria. The question is, why didn't they take the boy to a proper hospital? What are they trying to cover? It's obvious that they want that boy buying. It is obvious. That's why they did not rush him to a proper hospital. They waited for the girl to cross border. She came back to Nigeria in the night. They kept on calling the girl that come. The girl told them that, ah, me, I don't have chance until tomorrow. They said they will wait. They had a lot of time to take it, a lot of time to take him to a proper hospital. They refused to take Mobile to a proper hospital. Why? And the wife was there. Same wife was also in the car when the boy died. And in that car again, the boy heard move. Immediately they entered the video. You understand? So what happened? Is it that after the nurse took him, the boy looked by? Do you understand? A lot of things. A lot of things that they should tell us. But people are letting sentiment to enter this case. They are letting sentiment to enter this case. And I don't like it. I don't like it for real, man. You guys have to like ask the right question. When I don't protect her now, you don't cast. They don't talk say they never interrogate the wife. Where are all the people they, they have inter they've investigated the wife? They've investigated the wife and the wife has said the truth. She have told them what she knows. The police don't it is cap. It is obviously cap. Do you understand? It is obviously cap. They should tell us the truth. What happened to the boy? What happened? What happened? Imagine say we go born in Amali and Sam Larry now. What happened to Mubad? May they talk the truth. What happened? Don't play. Now, now, when I go learn never to use sentiments, you all will learn and you all will learn the hard way.